So, um, in my last video, I mentioned that, um, some people would select rams to bring down the size of their sheep or to, uh, at least, uh, maintain the current size so that they don't get too big. So somebody asked me if they do that because uh, it's too hard for the shearers to flip them. Well, I'm not a shearer, but I do watch the shearers flip these sheep in. Uh, of course, the uh, bigger, heavier ones are much more difficult for them to flip over, but they do an amazing job. <laughs> They seem to be really good at it. And once the big ones are over, I think they actually have an easier time with the big ones because uh, the big ones, they can get in big, long strokes to cut the wool off instead of having to do a whole bunch of little ones. And because they're bigger, they don't have to bend quite as far. And uh, little sheep do tend to be a little squirmier once a Suffolk uh, is on her bum. Uh, she doesn't move too much. So um, it is not for the shearer's sake that uh, people are trying to keep the size down. At our farm, the reason we don't go any taller than we are, um, for one thing, we do have a, a height size in mind, which is uh, the medium, what we consider medium size. So the, like these ewes, as you can see along the line as they're eating, even though there may be some crosses in here, we keep them at a kind of consistent height, which for us with the suffix would be a little taller than the typical British style and shorter than the American style. And that's why we call them Canadian because they're in between the two. Um, no matter what um, size of sheep you prefer, it is always desirable to have a consistently sized flock. And the main reasons for that is, one, you can see how they are performing health-wise, condition-wise, because they should all look the same, and therefore anyone who's looking different is gonna stand out and you're gonna have a, a, a look at that one to see if there's a problem. Another reason is if you're marketing lambs to market. If your sheep are all basically the same size, it makes sorting through your lambs a lot easier because chances are um, that will pass on to the lambs and you'll have medium-sized group of lambs. So, like, at our place, you won't see us, uh, like, a lot of breeders run their sheep through a scale before they take them to market. We don't do that. Uh, again, we did when we started out, but don't see much point in it anymore. So what we do is when the lambs are getting bigger, we will select um, one that visually looks kind of middle of the road and uh, weigh that one. And if it's in that uh, shipping weight range, which for us, we like to be 100 pounds or a little more. If, it, if we know a medium one's there, we can pretty well say that the majority of the lambs in that group are that weight and we'll run and we'll uh, load them onto the truck that way. Um, if when we're loading a smaller one comes through, uh, we'll just quickly pull that aside um, and seems to work for us. We we don't have like really odd batches of lambs going to market when we do have to send them to market. They are pretty consistent. So um, that's why you're looking for consistency. And now as for the height, the reason uh, breeders might not want to go too much taller is not necessarily the shearing, but it's because of the maintenance required on a the taller sheep. Now I, I, I do realize that some people prefer the taller ones and it's nothing against them, but we do have all styles here and we've had all kinds of breeds of sheep here. And in general, the taller ones eat way more feed with not the same results. So um, like 
these dorsets are what I, we consider to be easy keepers. They're um, maybe 50 pounds lighter than the suffix. And uh, once they're to size, they, they stay that way and they don't require a lot of grain to top them up. Um, the suffix, the shorter the suffix, uh, the easier keeper she is. We don't have to feed her as much food to keep her in the same condition as the shorter uh, sheep. Now, um, some people will, might dispute that fact, but I don't think too many people would. Um, it, it, it all, again, it's just logical. Um, someone who is much bigger, even people, like Arnie eats more than me. If I ate the exact same amount of food as Arnie eats, I would be fat and he would still be, um, slim. And it's not because he's better than me or a better type of person. It's just because of his frame. So if you've got a big frame, you need more feed to support that frame. And um, likewise, if you start to cut back the feed, those uh, heavier uh, sheep, those bigger sheep, will lose weight quicker. Um, so that's why we don't like to go too big. We've had a few uh, rams here that we called hard keepers. We use them if on ewes that uh, maybe are a little shorter than we prefer. And, you know, uh, shorter ewes, we do like to build them up because uh, with the shorter ewes, we find we get into more lambing problems with the shorter ewes. Uh, especially with the suffix trying to figure out how to nurse on a bag that they have to kneel down to uh, suckle off the teats. So that's why we go for the medium. Um, and I think that should answer that question. But uh, thanks for asking that, Susan, because uh, you just, when I'm talking, I am rambling. I don't have a script. I don't know what I'm going to say each day. I just walk around and, and go by what's happening in the day. And when people ask me questions like that, it's very helpful because then I can address what I might have thought was um, a given. One more thing I wanted to add about consistency on your sheep. Another reason you want your sheep to be consistent is so that you can feed everybody the same way and they'll all do well. Um, for instance, we used to run the dorsets and suffix together and they do not eat the same. Like I told you before, uh, the dorsets eat less volume than the suffix. So uh, I re think you remember in one of my earlier videos um, when we just started lambing this group, we had a few dorsets that developed laminitis from eating too much grain. And that's because Arnie had fed, been feeding them the same amount as the suffix. And uh, dorsets don't need nearly as much. So whether you have the big tall ones, the little short ones, no matter what your breed is, you want them consistent so that you can feed them consistently too, which makes it easier for you. And that way everybody should be on a level playing field. I just thought of another point about um, the breeds being shorter and taller and people's preference. But um, one thing you'll find in general also is that uh, different countries will have the same breed of sheep, but they'll be different sizes. And I think a lot of the reason for that is, one, the history of the country. It's always been like that, so that's how they do it. But uh, I think it relates more back to their land base. So in the UK, for instance, they have gorgeous sheep, um, and they've been doing it for hundreds of years, so I consider them to be masters of the sheep industry. Um, but their sheep, compared to what you'll find in North America, Australia, probably New Zealand, um, is that you'll find the sheep there have much shorter legs, and they're a lot stockier. And I think that's because they don't have as much land. 
Whereas in North America, we have thousands and thousands of acres of land that these sheep can graze on or that we can obtain food from. So as a result, we in these countries tend to go overboard on everything. We have bigger animals, bigger houses, bigger cars, bigger, 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 bigger. Not necessarily a good thing, but it is uh, the way it is in these countries. And uh, I think it originates with how much you have available to feed them and the quantities and the space. And then you get into ego, the bigger is better thing. 